Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to On the Mic with Mike. It's the premier business show here in Richmond, Virginia on WNTW 92.7 FM 820 AM. The program today, the Where the Social Enterprise Business Program here. I'm your host, Mike King, and I appreciate you being here with me because you could be anywhere else. So join me as this cutting edge show uplifts the community and showcases RVA business in a different way. We're coming to you live and direct from the palatial studios of WNTW, high above booming Chester, that hotbed of business activity. So this show highlights partnerships, innovation, social enterprise, nonprofits, and business people and organizations doing things in a different way to make the greater Richmond area better. So please follow by the brands, which are Mike King Biz, on my TV show, which is RVA Swag Central, the new show that I have that's coming out called Style and RVA, as well as my uh, radio program. So I'd like to thank our sponsor for today's show, as usual, is Nicole Reed Real Estate. Buying and selling a home, go with the pro Nicole Reed is simply the best. She's also one of the cast members of Style and RVA. So folks, please excuse me today. You know, I, I don't have my normal, you know, that radio voice that I typically have. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is kind of a uh, raspy. Thanks to my grandkids giving me a bit of whatever they gave me, but uh, we're going to power through it. Today's show, folks, this this is, is a game-changing show. <laughs> <laughs> so the visuals, so for folks who are looking on uh, Facebook, we have, please, uh, give the floor is yours for a minute. Just ex explain who you are and a little bit of your, your outfit, and then we'll go around the Panel. Yes, um, please let me explain this that you see right here. Um, my name's Laura Belden. I'm the director of Military Kid Art Project. I'm the creator of this program. We have been in business for um, more than 10 years, but I just purchased a space on Hull Street, and so we have the first permanent art facility for military kids, military families, but we don't just work with military families. We work with um, you know, all children in creative programming. And um, this is one of Mo's creations. And she is one of, uh, of our teachers, our creative um, partners. And she'll be talking about her specific program that's coming up very soon. All righty, thank you. So Mo, the floor's yours. Hi, I'm Mo Regulinski, and I am the creator of Regalia Healing Avatars. I make wearable art out of medical disposables. <laughs> And so Laura is modeling the humor headpiece. Lovely, um, if I may say. You are supposed to laugh when you look at her. I have a picture, and I don't know if you can see that, but this is a model in the complete outfit. And um, these outfits are made of medical disposables, showing us the avatars of health. So we have in this series seven, we have medicine, we have um, choices, we have food, we have exercise, we have perspective, we have humor, and ultimately it's our freedom that we're looking for. So um, that's what I do. I'll be an in instructor for the upcoming weekend design workshop, which is March 28th and 29th. Um, we will be at the Dorset, Old Dorset Studios, the home of Military Kid Art Project, and we will be um, creating with teens in specific, but we are open to older students as well if they'd like to come. All right. Now, there really is no way to follow that up, except for if we go to the lady who owns a CBD store. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is why you need CBD. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have Lisa Monroe. <laughs> so no, quickly tell people who you are. Hi, I'm Lisa Monroe. I actually um, manage the Your CBD store over on 148 Hall Street Road. And so we're your neighborhood wellness center. So we do anything from CBD all the way to fitness classes, um, health and wellness products. So, but today we're talking about CBD. All right, <laughs> but you really do have a cool space down there. And being a manager that you see a lot of different things. So you touch on wellness, you touch on the events, you touch on uh, CBD as well. Plus you have the, what is that, the CBD infused wine? Oh yeah, we got the new CBD infused wine that's coming. Okay. Along with the um, cold pressed juice bar that's also coming April 1st. Okay, we're gonna get some more info. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure now <laughs> to talk to, here you, okay, the, the floor is yours because <laughs> every, as soon as you say who you are and what you do, everybody does the same thing. <laughs> Hi, my name is Heather Bailey, and I have host of Sparrows Aerial Circus Company. We have a performance company that performs for nonprofit, community, and corporate events, but we also have classes and training program. We're having our 10-year anniversary, and mm -hmm. our performers have come out of our program. We started with a Facebook page 10 years ago, and now we're a full functioning circus in Richmond. So. Okay, so folks, this is a business show, but Heather, how do you get into the circus business is the question. Um, I started by working with a nonprofit who had a space. Um, and in that space, I, I started a program. So okay. it started as just a program. And then um, with the need of having more space because the program grew on its own, we had to move into another bigger space. And going out from under the wing of a nonprofit into having the program separate, I had to become an LLC pretty quickly. So we have designed this business to be something that we call social circus model, okay. where the things that we do are for the, the better of our community. And we use a B Corps model as well. So The whole B Corps model, please explain to people what that is. It's a pretty cool concept. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I know Mike, Michael had been in, you know, involved with in impact makers. Those guys are sort of on the forefront of the whole impact, you know, B Corp movement here in Richmond. Yes. So a B Corp is a company that has, um, there are a number of tiers in it that you, uh, and qualifications for you to get that B Corp um, stamp of approval. It's kind of like the USDA stamp saying that you have met all of these requirements. Some of those things are the things that are happening in your business have to have, um, have to be good for environment. They have to be good for your employees. They have to be good for the people who come and go in your establishment. So there's a lot of things underneath that that um, sort of give you, let people know what they're walking into. Okay. Yeah. So folks, the time is 1.15. The program is on the mic with Mike. The station is WNTW. It's not your father's talk station. The program is on the mic. What we do is we give folks a platform and tell their story. So please tell us the story of the Military Kids Art Project. How did you get to that point? How do you end up where you are now? And how can people get to be involved with you? Sure. Um, well, I'm an adult military brat. Um, and my father is a career Marine. He did two tours in Vietnam. And um, so when 9-11 happened, I thought to myself, what can I do to help you know future brats? And um, I contacted the statewide YMCA and asked for uh, a space for free. And they loved my um, outline of my project and gave me free space and volunteers. And my first class, I had about 15 people show up. And a lot of them were traveling 45 minutes one way um, for quite a few weeks. And I thought, OK, I think I'm on to something. You know, there's there's, as far as I could tell, there was no programming like it anywhere. So um, from there, it just snowballed and I grew and grew. And for uh, over 10 years, I've gone to, I've partnered with other entities. So when I say that, I mean, I go into the Virginia Beach public school system for an entire year, or I work with the YMCA or I work with the Red Cross. Um, I go on to military bases. And so it was very concentrated, just military children. I should say I'm a professional artist and I am a teacher, uh, so uh, an art teacher. So I had all this background that I was pulling all together. 
Um, then I realized that one of the things that a lot of military children experience is they move so much that they don't call one place home. And so I decided to create a space. It might not be their one space they call home, but it's another space they can call home, which is a permanent art facility where they can always come back to that spot. Um, a lot of children grew up near or on military bases and a lot of the bases close and then they can't go back to their childhood basically. Yeah. So here I have this thing that I'm hoping they, they can always, you know, come back to be creative, tell their own stories, but be amongst their peers, you know, which is what, um, you know, veterans do, you know, they get together with their peers, talk and feel probably from what I understand the most comfortable, you know, um, talking about like that culture. Um, so I'm just enabling that for kids in a creative way. But um, I teach some of the programming, but I have other teachers that teach other programming. So I only hire people who are like if they're teaching military brats, then they are an adult military brat. Um, they're also a professional artist. So and a, a either a teacher with a license or someone who has taught for many years. So the kids that are coming to my programming are getting the absolute best scenario that they can. Um, I've never had to charge up until this year. Um, all programming has been free through like grants and things like that. Um, this year we're charging, but we're offering still a lot of scholarships. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. So. So really quick, the time is winning, team. So Mo, could you give us a, now this is, a, you know, we're close to fashion week, I would guess. Yeah. Could you give us a fashion show and let folks know your wearable art, what you are. What, oh, what I'm wearing? Yes, you're Should I your, stand up and do yes, a twirl? We, we, yes, okay. we, there's a twirl. <laughs> um, this is <laughs> a vest made out of tire tubes and tires. Um, like I said, the series, shows different aspects of what you need to do to live healthy. So I just take those disposables. These were all from what the former bunny hop bicycle shop and they were in the back alley. They, you can't really recycle these. They're a difficult item. They don't like them in dumps. So I went and took them and I created this vest. Um, I taught for many years at the Virginia Museum of Fine Art, the Teen Styling Program, and we were doing this all the time. And as, as Laura was saying, the teens then, it was the most diverse, wonderful, utopian group of kids because we gathered together through creativity. So folks, one second. The time is 119. We gotta go away and take care of some, pay some bills. This ain't free and my grandkids need stuff. So <laughs> we will be back shortly. Having a good name is more valuable than possessions. With a positive reputation, you not only obtain good credit, but the trust of lenders. At Build Credit LLC, we help you gain access to wealth, knowledge, and personal power. Have you made mistakes with your credit? Not where you need to be? Unsure of where to start? Tired of credit companies taking your money and getting no results? Need a home, car, credit cards, trade lines, or starting a business and need credit? No worries, we've got solutions for all of your questions. Build Credit LLC is here to help you begin, repair, or build your credit to get the lifestyle you deserve. With our 100% money back guarantee, we are committed to your success. Contact us today at 844-214-0554 or buildcredittrust.com for your free consultation. Mention promo code BCT2020 to claim 20% off your Hello, everybody. Your I'm Jimmy Stump with Welcome Stump's Pig and Pint. We're located on the corner at 2nd Street and 119 East Lee. We specialize in slow-cooked meats, handmade sides, and homemade desserts. Stop by. Let us take great care of you. You can find us on Facebook at Stump's Pig and Pint, or you can give us a call, 804 804- Four seven seven. Did you know embroidery is an easy, low-cost way to market your business? Let God Mama Wear LLC assist you with your custom logo embroidery needs. Whether you need shirts, hats, or yoga mats, God Mama Wear can embroider various items. Visit us online at www.godmamawear.com. That's www.godmamawear.com. Let's talk soon. 
Before and after the salon has been active in the Richmond, Virginia community, providing hairstyling services for over 10 years. Before and After is located in downtown Richmond at 1917 West Cary Street. Specializing in weaves, extensions, and growing healthy hair, Before and After provides a full suite of hair care services. Expert stylists Michelle Smith and Alicia Clark are well trained to meet your styling needs at Before and After the Salon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On the Mic. Oh, on the Mic with Mike. <laughs> First rule of radio, turn off your phones. So uh, uh, the time is 122. Mo is going to give us an explanation of the exquisite headgear that is being worn and displayed in the studio. So Laura is wearing a headpiece for the, the Avatar humor. Um, when I was standing in the line at Costco, a little girl was in front of me. She had a delightful haircut, kind of straight across bangs, and it was round and curly. And she inspired me for the look of this. Also, it's inspired by Egyptian, um, Egyptian culture and wear. The next thing is these are all medical disposables. They are called Neopods, and the Neopod is what you use to put a cannula in your body. There is a, a tube on it, which another piece is made out of. And these are just the injector sets to put that cannula in your body. The tubing is in there. Then you attach the tube to a reservoir. The reservoir goes into your pump and then you're all set to have an insulin pump in your body. When I was doing this, I was thinking about what a remarkable amount of garbage happens with this because these are changed every three days in insulin pump management you are changing out your sets every three days and i wanted to make a statement on how to re reuse some of this material changing your biggest challenge into something beautiful is one of the things that inspires this design work so each piece integrates some kind of disposable that would be going in the trash into the garments themselves. They're also giving those who look at them a positive way to look at a very high maintenance disease. And as we know, diabetes is becoming rampant in our culture. Now I'm a type one diabetic. These are all the things I use. But if you have type two, you have the opportunity to exercise and eat right and never have to use these kind of disposables. If that becomes a problem, then they put you on insulin, they'll put you on injections, then you start using more and more disposables. So my platform is, hey, you all, look at all this stuff you have to put in your body if you actually are insulin resistant or you do not produce insulin at all. That's the difference between type one and type two. I do not produce insulin at all. I have to inject everything. Every time I eat, it's a needle. and so. All of my pieces tell that narrative. Well, we know military brats have a narrative, moving place to place, going, you know, everybody has a story. And in our storytelling culture, we all wear clothes too. So I'm just integrating the story, the clothes, and whatever item is in your environment that you want to represent that story for you. And that's our workshop. I think that'll look real cool on you, Mike. You know what, Lisa? What trade, Mike? CJ. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, CJ is on the wheels of steel. You can reach him by calling 804 454 1366. After the break, I don't know. I may, I'm, we might have to have I a try it on. <laughs> okay. For the sake of the program, you know, I'm going to do it. So, Yay! okay. Way to go, Mike. You know, you turn We're looking for male models. You, you turn 60 and your <laughs> reputation just goes out the window. It's, <laughs> it's so, okay, so the time is 126. So let folks know how they can get in touch with you and, and find out what you're doing so the kids can get to be involved. Because one of the things you do talk about the kids being, you know, being in the military, you know, we've moved a thousand times. And, you know, when you say a thousand, it's an exaggeration, but we probably moved 25 times. 
my kids have lived a ton of places. As a as a GI, when you see something that's familiar, like no matter what, when you see the USO at an airport, it just was something that that feels comfortable. So you know, you look at how it's from a kid's perspective. The parents you get, come on, let's go, and you're gone. You know, I've met my wife forty years ago in the army, and we've been going ever since. Military bases, army bases here and there, and you know, you just take the kids because it's just like that's what you got to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So every time they have to find new friends, and and then you wonder why they're a little crazy because that's part that's part of what it goes with. So kudos to what you guys are doing. I talked to you, this had to be almost a year ago. Yep, yep, we've started and, the talk. And I was just like, man, that's a cool program. So, and finally you're here, so you're here today. I'm going to take the plunge. Um, you know, the vest is definitely, you know, you see how I roll. I've never had a vest that cool. Lisa, <laughs> Lisa I'm going on your it. show. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so tell folks that we got a couple minutes. Tell folks how they can reach you. Yeah, there's there's a couple of ways. Um, we have a wonderful Facebook page, which is Military Kid Art Project. So if you go on Facebook, find that, like the page, and you can see what we are doing like every day. Um, I'm going to leave information with Mike, but um, you can also go on to uh, brettart.org, and that's where our applications are. If you want to just go ahead and fill out an application. Um, you can email me, you can call me, and Mike's going to have all that information. I will have it. Yeah. Um, but the email is lkbeldon, B E L D O N, at hotmail.com. That comes directly to me. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to write me, and I'll be glad to you know, share any information that you okay. might need. Well, how can folks reach you? Well, I have a website, moregulinski.com, and Under new products, you can sign up for the workshops. Um, There is one feature that is for paying students. There's other feature for scholarship students. And all you're doing there is putting in your name and your email, and then we contact you with the appropriate application. Please spell that out. It's it's just like it sounds, regular, but it's Regulinski. So it's M-O-R-E-G-U-L-I-N. S K I dot com. Okay. And it's under new products is the um how you can sign up through that website. All right, folks, the time is 129. The program is on the mic with Mike. Um we have some other great programming here. Uh I'll touch base on that when we come back. We have to go away to pay some bills and take a break here. On the flip side, uh we'll be back to talk to uh Lisa Heather.
Ladies and gentlemen, the program is on the mic with Mike. The time is 1.32. Uh, I'd like to thank Gabrielle Mays, who has a show on the station on WNTW on Saturday at 2 p.m., correct? Yeah, so her show is called The Gabby Hour. So you're free. Make sure you take a listen to The Gabby Hour. Uh, it's vaudeville for radio. So, you know, you you hear voices and plays and everything else. So in the studio with us, we have the Military Kids Art Project your CBD store, and the Sparrows Circus. Host of Sparrows. The host of Sparrows. Okay, so folks, the ladies here have been telling us a little bit about the uh, art project that they have and the wearable art. So it's going to work like Bill Maher. This is going to go on overtime when it's when it's over, and you'll still be able to see me because they don't think that I'm going to wear it uh, because I'm, you know, they just think I'm scared. But I'm going to put it on <laughs> and wear it. And so, so Lisa, tell us a little bit about what people think about CBD and what is true and not true and what makes people scared about it. Okay, so CBD, um, people have this myth that CBD is actually marijuana. CBD is not marijuana. CBD is actually extracted from a hemp oil that is used, which they call tincture. And from tincture, you're able to extract it further to make other great products. So you can use edibles, they put it in skincare line, they put it in bath bombs, you can do it in water solubles for people who does not like the oil taste that's at the bottom of your mouth. Um, and so animals, so you name it, CBD is actually, a, it's a very healthy organic product. Um, and so that's really the biggest myth that people, you read a lot of stuff online about CBD, but then remember, everything that you read is not factual. And so it's always best to come into a certified your CBD store and actually talk to us because that's what we get trained to do is actually to teach people about CBD and wipe away all those myths because CBD is one of those um, natural organic things that can actually help the body. So, you know, look at it. I always tell people, look at it like a vitamin. You take a vitamin and your body starts waking up and, and rejuvenating itself. That's all CBD does. It's just actually get in the body and say, hey, I'm awake. Now, let's work on some of these issues in a very natural way. So, folks, the time is uh, 135. The voice you've been listening to is Lisa Monroe from your CBD's, CBD store. <laughs> so we have a call that we got to take right now. Um, Mr. CJ, send them through. Hello, you're on the mic with Mike. I'm doing good, ladies and gentlemen. It's a sponsor of the program, uh, Nicole Reed, the best realtor in the business. Also, one of the stars of my new TV show, which is called Stein and RVA. That is a shameless plug. Uh, <laughs> Nicole, the, that is true. So, Nicole, the floor is yours. for the 
raffle, so we're going to be raffling off 50 inch TV, some vacation, we got some gift cards, um, cash, just all kind of fun things to raffle off to just get people um, to participate in the raffle so we can raise as much money as we can so we can help some single parents out there become homeowners. So pretty exciting thing. We've got a lot of things going on. I think, Mike, you're going to be there at the, at the event this weekend, right? I definitely will be. Thank you. Awesome. We've got Chef Todd that's going to be there catering. We've got um, Jay Lawanda Smith with Let's Do a Right Events. He's going to be uh, the event planner for that. We've got DJ Tony T that's going to be on the ones and twos giving us some good music. We're going to have a bar. We're just going to have a lot of fun, a lot of entertainment going on. Um, so, But I just wanted to definitely make sure that I recognize my clients because it's because of them that has made me successful and they can uh, allow me to do the things that I'm doing today. So I just thank you, Mike, for allowing me to come on the show and just talk about that a little bit. Okay, but you, you had a, a sport. Uh, you had a little something big in your world in sports for your kids, correct? Yeah, my um, my youngest son, their team, um, actually in eighth grade, but he plays up in the, the JV team, and they actually won uh, their second year championship um, for basketball. So that was pretty exciting. We played our championship game down in Richard Glenn uh, College, and they actually won that event the other day. So Cool. Okay, so, so, so Nicole, in the house with us, we have Heather, who we're going to go to <laughs> in a couple of weeks to a uh, it's host sparrows. Mm -hmm. Host of sparrows. Yay. So a host oh, yeah, yeah. is the bird grouping name. So it's like a, a gaggle of geese or a murder of oh. crows. It is a host of sparrows. Mm. See, so. this, this show is all about <laughs> education. So please. Oh, yeah. Make sure you bring your can-do attitude. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. I don't understand the word cake. Yes, yes. Nicole is definitely one with the can-do attitude. All right, Nicole, we gotta run. We gotta, we gotta take her some business here. Thank you. All right, take care. Bye. All right, so Heather, the floors are. Tell folks what they can expect when they come to your location. So we do a number of things. Um, one of the things we do, we do get hired for events. So we have a rehearsal space. Some of the people who have been through our program have, um, have become performers. So sometimes our space is the rehearsal space, but Monday through Thursday is the classroom space and we teach. We teach aerial fabrics, we teach aerial hoop, and we teach trapeze. We also- no, So that's what it's called, aerial fabrics. You always tell people it's the one out there with the scarves. So people will call them scarves. They're also called ribbons oh. or uh, tissue, as a French oh, term. Okay. Um, so they have a lot of different names. But um, the, we also have contortion. We have juggling workshops. We have uh, When we started this program, we were originally an aerial circus. But there's a lot of little pockets of circus people in Richmond that kind of we all found our people. Um, so we have a stilt walker who teaches our summer camp. Um, he is a former Barnum and Bailey clown, and his wife is a former co uh, contortionist from the same same line. Uh, some of the jugglers in the area that you see at the festivals are part of our gang now. Um, but if you come into our classes, what you will learn is how to do any of those, any of those things. Uh, we start from where you are. We showcase your strengths, and we challenge your weaknesses. Um, some people say, well, I don't have any upper body strength. How do I get that? You show up. Mm -hmm. we, we use that 90% of life is showing up. And so we start, we start small. We do a little bit at a time, get people used to turning a little bit upside down, get used to people pulling themselves up, and then it just grows from there. Okay. Yeah. You're also part of the group Puppets, correct? Yes. I'm also on the board of Puppets off Broad Street. This is a partnership that we... We have worked on um, because nonprofits and and small art entities. Even though I'm a business, I am and um, I started through some grants from Culture Works. Is how how this came to be in the first place. And um, shout out to Erin from Culture Works. She's a, <laughs> she's a friend of the program. <laughs> but we um, just finding we wanted to both of us wanted to start a summer camp and we to get those resources for kids to be able to learn these different things in a summer camp we kind of joined forces um my past life was a development director and um, so you were you were always good at asking for the money <laughs> so i did i did so um we had 24 kids um half were on scholarship so we fundraised for scholarships 
because both of our missions really worked uh, together really well. Um, we're an inclusivity-based program. So we work with all abilities, we work with all backgrounds, we work with everyone. Um, our mission is to make it a circus accessible to people and so that they can express and learn the empowering art of circus. Um, so our, our missions worked really well together and we've done a, a number of projects together, but that's one that's been consistent every year and our camp is full. That's the first thing that caught my was the puppets. And I think I've seen that maybe a year ago. One of the cool parts about Richmond are a thousand nonprofits. Mm -hmm. Everybody's out doing some really good things. It's kind of like, how do you get the word out about yours as opposed to, you know, you have the big ones that everyone knows. Right. It's those cool ones who are out there trying to make it from day to day, impacting kids' lives. So, you know, how do you guys see the Richmond nonprofit scene? So let's take it from the business side. How hard is it to do what you're doing? to keep the doors open, lights on, and to keep moving forward? Because I know it's a struggle. Great question. I think the biggest problem that performance entities have, which a puppet puppet theater is one of those, they also do puppet building and, and workshops and expressing through puppetry, um, a lot of great programs really, is space. Richmond has oh. had this boom of, of development where all of these old warehouses that we used to be able to find cheap space and you know, do performances and things like that have uh, given way to loft apartments and breweries and things that um, we get kind of pushed around. We're in a temporary space right now, uh, Plant Zero, and we use RVA event space for our summer camp next door. Uh, we get a donation from RVA event space to help us have more space to do this summer camp. But because that's a donated space, we can only do one camp because they can't donate all the time. So there's this continual need for these wide open spaces that don't bring in the money because we're not selling paintings off the wall we're not where we come and go we perform so and we teach the educational part of it is how we're surviving um to be able to become teachers some of our performers are teachers now so that they can you know we can expand the program and try to bring in a little bit more revenue to keep it going and having diverse revenue streams like camps and partnerships and working with other people to make things happen. Okay. So the time is 144. That is Heather Bailey from the host of Sparrow's Aerial Circus. Yes. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> you got it. I got it, yeah. <laughs> Break out the band. Okay, <laughs> so uh, folks, the time is 145. The station is 92.7, a.m. Uh, WNTW here down in Booming Chester. In the house with us, we have some, some terrific ladies here who are talking about the programs that, that they do. So, uh, we're going to go away and take care of some some billing. Oh, wait one second here. Uh, we have a call that we're going to take. Okay. Dead radio <laughs> time. So, hello, you're on the mic with Mike. Hello, you're on the mic with Mike. Hello. Hello, you're on the Sorry, folks, this is a little technical difficulty. <laughs> you are on the mic with Mike. Hello. Hey, Mike, it's Pavi. How are y'all? Hello. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Pavi Leitner from Finlit. So uh, she's our financial guru, and she teaches it's a financial literacy for kids up to adults. So, Pavi, the floor is yours. All right. So, once again, this is Pavi with Finlit. You're family with Pavi financial educator. So, today, Four ways to help you to help your children or grandchildren pay for college. Ooh, and yes, this thank is you. About being tax smart. So the first thing I have is funding plan. So with this, the one twenty five is not the same for the tax free for the college fund. This is also twelve hundred. $15,000 per person, and there's no limit on this, without triggering a gift tax. Uh, with the gift, gift tax, pretty much, of course, if you go over $15,000 to the IRS, they're going to pay you or you some money in regards to that. But they really don't uh, look too much into that. The next thing is, when you fill out the taxes, um, there's a section that asks about the American Opportunity Credit. And what this does, this can reduce your taxes by $2,500 per student uh, if they are your dependents and you spend at least $4,000 in tuition. Um, this will go towards qualify and you don't 
read books and course materials. The fourth thing I have is you to fund a life insurance policy. With a life insurance policy, one of the benefits of it is the income from this does not count towards, um, well, the money from this does not count towards your income. So you can take it out tax-free and it can actually be used for anything. So these are my four tips as far as helping you to help your children and grandchildren pay for their college and being tax smart about it. This is Tavi Dixon with, you can catch me on Facebook and Instagram at Finlidge VA. Thank you, Bobby. She's also the regular contributor to uh, the radio, the TV show that we have, Chopping Up at Stumps. A shout out to uh, Stumps Pig and Pint, Jimmy Stump. Tomorrow we're having a Galaxy Con party for uh, kids. Mm -hmm. So if you have any kids, bring them down to uh, Stumps Pig and Pint 2 to 4 tomorrow, and uh, they can wear their costumes. So, Bobby, thank you, and uh, we'll be in touch. Folks, the time is 1.48. Uh, we're going to have to go away to take care of some bills. i got to go pay some things. Uh, and during that time, we're going to switch over some headgear. These ladies think that I'm not down. <laughs> but we're going to do that so that you can see it before the end of the show. Thanks. We'll be back. Purchasing a home can be one of the biggest investments of your life. Having a realtor you can trust is important. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, contact Nicole Reed with Nicole Reed Real Estate. And rest easy knowing that her and her team of professionals are here to guide you every step of the way. With over 30 years of combined experience in financing, marketing, lending, and real estate, you can be confident that you will have someone that is knowledgeable and dedicated in helping you achieve your end goal. Our goal is to help a thousand families and individuals position themselves for home ownership and equity. Mention promo code REAL2020 and receive $500 towards closing costs and moving expenses. Get a free market analysis of your home, free buyer's consultation, or free credit profile review by calling 804-721-7630 or visit www.nicolereedrealestate.com. Follow us on Facebook at Nicole Reed Realtor or IG at Nicole Reed Real Estate. Disclaimer. Offer valid in the Commonwealth of Virginia and subject to restriction. Must buy or sell a home before December of 2020 to qualify. Hi, do you struggle with forming the right words to draw in your target audience? Are you stuck on page one of that manuscript? Do you need an extra set of eyes to critique and edit your flyers, emails, or manuscripts? Do you need more time to do what you love within your business and life? If you answer yes to any of these questions, I would love to assist you. My name is Amanda Eady, and I am the literary enthusiast. I'm an editor, ghostwriter, proofreader, and creative assistant for small business owners and entrepreneurs. You can contact me today at www.amandaeady.com. Let me help you creatively change the world. Starting a business can be exciting, but did you know you need business insurance? Have you started a business and aren't sure if you have the right coverages? The Insurance Lady Consulting Firm makes sure we educate our clients on the products and services needed to protect your brand, contracts, and your clients. To better serve you, our firm offers tailored coverages and a variety of business consultations. We are a small woman and minority insurance firm that offers professional and general liability, commercial auto workman's compensation, and much more. Call us today at 888-784-9980 and follow us on Instagram and Facebook as The Insurance Lady L-A-D-I. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, I don't have a headset. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On the Mic with Mike. The program that used to have dignity as far as I was concerned. <laughs> uh, we're here, if you are looking at this on Facebook, you're wondering, no, I did it. So the ladies, <laughs> so uh, Lisa Monroe, uh, wait, Heather Bailey? Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely going to come to your place and do it. Now, I have nothing left to... <laughs> 
to run from. <laughs> Ladies, so please explain what I'm wearing and why I'm doing this for a good purpose. <laughs> you are a fabulous male model for humor. So it's not supposed to be anything else but funny. Ooh, ooh, because so sometimes we just need to laugh at what might make us uncomfortable, what might make us um, sad or tired. Sometimes laughter just puts all those great endorphins in your system mm -hmm. and pulls you out yeah. of whatever negativity you might be in. See, you're smiling right now as it is. Yes, I am. So you, you, you really can't cover up the, the real estate here. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so folks, this is a business show here. <laughs> I don't, it, it is most days. So talk a little bit about like the medical waste and how this helps, what you guys are doing with this. Dude, I, I, I don't even know. What well, doing. mostly yeah. this is educational. Yes. So what I do is I visited um, VCU Health. I've worked with them. It's mostly educating people to look at their body and their health differently. Um, and that is then a business for the people in the business of healthcare or in the business of art programming or in those businesses, we're kind of supporting that with interesting activities. It's not just babysitting though. Kids are learning either by making their own art or seeing pieces like this, that you can really shift your perspective and become productive, vibrant aspects in our culture. So how big is it that you had gotten your own space now? It's 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 very you're just looking at me like okay. <laughs> you're just laughing. Exactly. I am she's laughing. It's, it's very good. funny to see you. Folks, though. this is she's a show and I'm trying her. to be like, okay, I'm asking you a serious question and the <laughs> smile is just I'm trying my best to hold it together. I, it, it is something that just feels kind of Sexy, sexy, but it's sexy. Like you have to strike a pose. Exactly. Right. Like yeah. you never had that much like, hair before, did like, you? Like uh, Matt Damon in The Martian. <laughs> okay. Never mind. A little. A little. Exactly. <laughs> so how is it having your own space? Oh, so it's wonderful. It's freeing. You know, for so many years, I carried all of my supplies and, you know, uh, boxes on wheels, basically, and drove from place to place. But now we have our own permanent space. And actually, what I did was I sold my house and bought an industrial facility. Um, so what it is, is I have now the entire, mm -hmm. so yeah, I'm all in. So um, I have 5,000 square feet. The whole downstairs is just for the art programming. Upstairs, um, we were talking about how you have to get creative with your programming to support it because there are so many great nonprofits in the city. The entire upstairs is cut up into individual um, studios and they're each rented and um actually a lot of them there's a hair salon there's nails there's lashes um i have a professional photographer up there so everything all of their rent that comes in pays for the facility and i don't have to think about a cent for the facility so when we do a fundraiser which we just finished that is purely programming on top and you know yeah so that's what we do so what's the next big thing you guys have coming up that you want to tell folks about? That is Mo's program, which starts... It starts the March date? 28th and 29th. Okay. It's right. a one weekend intensive design workshop, four hours a day. Um, and we will be going from start to finish and each student will create their own wearable art. We have, when Mac, Capital Mac closed, they offered us um, many laptops and iPhones and iPads. So we'll be deconstructing those and pulling out those beautiful chipboards and gold pieces in there. And we will be integrating those pieces into whatever regalia the kids decide. Okay. We'll have lots of items for them to choose from and they can bring their own stuff so here, too. I want, we want you to be a friend of the program. Call in to let us know like in the next couple of weeks to remind folks about it. But when it's all over, just have some of your kids that come in and model, you know, some of the things that they do. This program is all about giving people opportunities to talk and, and showcase what they do. It's a platform I never thought that I'd have. So, Heather, what you got going? Um, I think our next big event would be our student performer showcase. Um, Plant Zero and Artworks have a fourth Friday 
on um, fourth Friday in March, we will be between six and nine o'clock having our some of our performers, students and teachers performing. And this is also the graduation for understudies to become performers. So people who've been in the program three to five years who wish to become a performer have worked on a piece and this is their first time actually performing their own piece that they've created. Okay. Well, I just like to say if whenever I talk to anyone about the arts, I always talk about one of my best friends and coolest people I know is Jenny Kirby from Crossroads. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, she's one of the first people that I met when I came here. She's always been a friend of the program, always been a friend of mine, always comes through. So shout out to Jenny. That's how she was here along with Aaron Fry from Culture Works a couple months back. And so we had a great time as usual. Lisa, take us home with the CBD and the remedies that it can, it can help me with what, what I'm going to feel when I take this out. <laughs> Yes, it's going to definitely help relax the body. You seem a little stressed over there. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. So, yes, CBD is going to relax you. It's going to heal from the inside out. So, if you got stress, anxiety, PTSD, um, sleep, can't sleep at night, which I think you're going to have a little couple nightmares, Mike, <laughs> CBD will work. So, anything that the body is feeling, the receptors is going off, Definitely come by and let us talk to you about it and put you in the right product. All right. It's all about the product. And our program is going to be down. We're going to be down at your place pretty soon, aren't we? And yes. So mm -hmm. okay. On March 24th. All righty. So, folks, just, i just like to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, shout out to all the caregivers out there. I always want to give them a shout out. Shout out to my wife who's there with the grandkids. Baby, I'm on the way as soon as this is over. Uh, i just like to thank everybody. So, I'd like to thank the ladies for coming in. Follow them and their brands to help them. They're doing some really cool things. Uh, so my program, Style and RV, we're going to be down with uh, Heather in a couple weeks. You will see that show on CW Richmond. And just like to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, shout out to my grandkids too. Uh, Zachariah, Isabel, and Maya. Uh, we're going out to Colorado. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, friends, thanks for tuning in. And hopefully next week I won't sound like this. I'm going to be out there.